What's up everybody, this is Jeremy. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys a really, really cool application. It's called EarthDesk. Um, this is an application that's actually on OS X and Windows. Um, it's really cheap, it's only $25 and it's really, really cool. Um, what you're looking at right now just seems like a regular desktop wallpaper, but this is actually a whole lot more than that. It's not just a wallpaper. Um, this is a real-time image of what the Earth looks like right now. Um, right down to the, the city lighting, the moonlight, all of that. Um, it's, there's a lot to this application that I really want to show you guys, but I'm going to try to go, I, I wrote down a few key points right here that I really don't want to forget. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the things that I've written down because they're really important and I don't want to forget about those. And then I'll actually start showing you guys um, all the different options and ways that you can set this up. Um, like I said, there's real-time cloud coverage. So this, this is updated every 1 to 30 minutes. I think by default it's set to about 5. Um, I've got mine set to one minute just because I wanted to test it as far as the re how, how much it would eat at your resources. Um, now I can't speak for Windows because obviously I don't have that version, but as far as OS X, I've had mine set to uh, one minute updates for about the past three days now, and it's actually, I don't even notice that it's running. When I first saw this application, I really thought that um, it would kind of slow your Mac down, but I've not noticed it in any way at all, so it's definitely really good there. Um, there's 10,000 different cities that you can update from, which I'm going to get into that in just a minute. Um, there's multiple monitor support. Um, you can read more details as far as that on their website, which I'll link you to in a little bit. Um, ma uh, the daylight savings time on this is set up automatically, so that's not something that you're going to have to worry about. It's not going to interfere with the accuracy of it or anything like that. That's automatically built in. Um, there's, like I said, the accurate... Uh, sunlight, the moonlight, and the city lighting, which you can see right now. It's about 5.30 in the morning where I live um, over here in the United States, and you can see over here all the city lighting and all of that, which is completely accurate, and not. there's ways you can set this up that show that off even more. Like I said, I'm going to get into that a little bit more in a few minutes. Um, th there's actually four different maps on here that you can use that I'm going to be showing you guys in the next couple of minutes and those update month to month so you'll notice uh, as these maps update that the sun or the uh, excuse me the snow and the vegetation is going to change from month to month to, so that's going to give you an accurate depiction of that um, so you're pretty much getting an exact view of what the earth looks like um, like I said there's a lot of different ways that you can set it up and view it and I'm going to show you guys all that but um, um, I'll go ahead and get into it now a little bit more. Um, this is the default view right here. The default settings are completely accurate. Um, you can mess with them to make them, uh, if you don't like the way it looks or you just like the way that certain lighting looks or different angles, you can change that, but it's, it's very accurate just by default. Um, there's a little uh, menu bar icon up here that you click. Um, there's four different maps, like I said. These two are just different ones that are... They look natural, but they kind of show off things um, a little bit better. Uh, they're not as natural looking, but they kind of show different parts of the earth a little bit better. And then you've got this political map, which actually you can see where the countries are divided. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this back up to the natural one, just because that's the one I like the best. Um, the projections, this is really, really cool. There's a lot of different views that you can use here. Um, I'm just going to show you two of my favorites. There's one called Hammer. You can see uh, your desktop wallpaper in the background. Uh, mine happened to be one of space, so it fits pretty much perfectly right here. But um, if you don't have that, you can actually go down in here into the background and use star field, and you can see the stars, the, the wallpaper that it gives you. And this is probably my favorite projection. Um, this one's called globe, and it's just a global view. Looks like a regular classroom globe and you can see the star field in the background or you can set a solid color which right now it would be black or you can use your existing desktop if you have like a space type wallpaper and it really brings that out a lot more um, it's just it's really really if you the more you watch it the more that you notice different things like you notice uh, the vegetation in different countries and especially like me I watch the science channel and stuff like that a lot where they talk about different countries have droughts in this area and stuff like that so it's really really cool to keep up with that because you really start to learn more and more about the earth just by viewing this and having it on your desktop and it's always changing so I mean you're never going to really get bored with it because you can change the different angles and there's so much different stuff you can change on here um, I'm going to go ahead and go back for now to the default projection 
and from here oops, I'm going to go into the shading you can actually change the moonlight here and make this you can make it where it's always daytime which obviously this isn't going to be as accurate if you do it this way but you can see a lot more of the earth you can see a lot of the glaciers and stuff up in the north um, you can you can always watch like the hurricanes as they come in in the clouds um, you can adjust the transparency on the clouds which I'm going to get in and show you guys a few of the options but for the most part I'm just going to show you the basic options here because there's so much to talk about on this application uh, you can set it to where it's always at a full moon you can set it where there's no moon and this is really going to show off the uh, the city lighting very very well um, I love this view I really have a hard time deciding which view I like the best so I'm kind of always going between them and changing them but uh, there's definitely a lot on here that you can do that you're going to like um, now this is really cool I hope I can explain this in a way that makes sense it's kind of difficult uh, like I said these are different points on the earth that you can view then from here you can view um, you can there's up to 10,000 cities that you can select from and you can have the map centered on those cities if you choose like right here I can go to Abu Dhabi and the map will be centered on that and it will always be there so the map doesn't move at all when you uh, center it on a city you'll see the the darkness come from the right side of the screen towards the left and you can the darkness will move uh, the city lighting will show up you know as it gets dark and all of that but the map will always stay the same um, where I live it happens to be on here um, even if your city isn't on here there's gonna be one that's close enough that it's really not gonna make a difference because as, as far as it's zoomed out by default that um, it, it really isn't even gonna matter it's gonna pretty much show your city um, centered on the screen no matter what um, then you can go down to here and you can actually do it say you want to go to what whatever part of the day is noon okay now you can see the Sun is always going to be centered on your map if you do it this way and you'll actually see the map move instead of the sunlight so like I said there's lots of different ways that you can view this and all of them are extremely cool I love I love this application I've been using this for um, probably about a week now and I've just been playing with different options and setups and um, I, it's just really really hard to choose because there's so many different parts I mean there's times where I want to see the cloud coverage there's times where I want to kind of use the transparency to to kind of block that out and use this see the uh, city lighting there's different like the globe or this default view that I want to use so you just want really want to play with it all the time and kind of change it and you know see what you can do with it like I said you can set it to uh, update from 1 to 30 minutes you can zoom it in and out um, if you want to zoom in on your city you can take it in further you can go you can go really far here like I said I keep mine pretty far zoomed out because I want to view the entire earth or at least as much of it as possible um, you can go down here and change the brightness um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back here to my city really quick and I'll show you the cloud uh, opacity you can change this and the clouds will pretty much disappear if you do this and it makes the city lighting all that much easier to see so uh, this is definitely an application I recommend you guys try out uh, you get there's a free demo it just says license across the screen and if you guys like it I definitely recommend buying it I think it's really really cool especially for like the science geeks and stuff like like I am uh, it's definitely something to check out now at the end of this video um, I'm going to actually post screenshots it's I think a 9 hour or 12 hour interval interval um, total I started taking these pictures at or screenshots at 9 p.m. and stopped at around 5 5 30 uh, a.m. so I'm going to show you all those screenshots so you can see how the lighting actually changes and all that good stuff so uh, check it out let me know what you guys think and I'll have more videos soon thanks